And now it's time for Development Debates, where we dig deeper into some of the questions shaping the future and present of China. Today our debate's topic is, should Bei Piao escape from Beijing? Bei Piao refers to people who work and live in Beijing, but technically do not have a registered permit and residence in Beijing. Beijing is the capital of China and an international metropolis. Therefore, it is the nation's political, cultural, and educational center as well, which inevitably lures in many outsiders. This international metropolis is one of the most heavily populated cities in the world. The population in 2012 was over 20 million people. But one-third of Beijing's population is migrants. They come here to seek opportunities for a better living. They pay the same or even higher taxes than do native residents, but what they get back from the city in terms of social insurance, medical treatment, education is meager by comparison, and the burden that rests on their shoulders is heavy. Ye Tan, a famous economic commentator, appealed to Bei Piao denizens to move out of Beijing in her latest blog. In her opinion, Beijing is far too expensive for these migrants to live and work in. A report from the Economic Observer indicated that the housing rent fees in Beijing have raised 146 percent over the past 10 years, which is even faster than that of the housing price. According to statistics by Forbes in 2009, Beijing has the third highest housing rent fee in the world only behind Tokyo and Hong Kong. And when you contemplate the relatively low income of residents, the price of houses becomes even more unbearable. During the 11th five-year plan, the number of permanent residents increased about 5% every year and 27.6% in total over the past five years. This is a huge number which greatly contributes to the hike in rent and housing prices in Beijing. Index of population control is seen as a high priority for the Beijing government, which now means Bei Piao are not going to see the welcome mat roll out anytime soon, unless you earn a high income, that is. Non-native migrants who make common earnings aren't going to be able to live in Beijing and therefore they shouldn't do so. Lots of net citizens as well as some experts didn't concur with Tan's opinions. Mang Lu, a senior media critic, holds a different opinion. She maintains that residents shouldn't be divided into divisions such as rich and poor because it only turns the topic into a question of politics. She admits that the increasing population of Bei Piao is partly the reason for the rising housing prices and rent fees in Beijing, but this is a very complex issue here in China. Asking people to leave won't solve the problem. She believes that migrant workers come to Beijing only to seek a better living and that is their freedom to do so. No one can blame someone who simply wants to pursue his or her dream. No one should deny their rights and tell them what to do. Even if they come and realize they can't afford it and leave Beijing, that's their prerogative. It is simply survival of the fittest, which has nothing to do whether you are Bei Piao or not. Also, Beijing should be more inclusive. A city can only be filled with the rich. These migrant workers make their own contributions to the development of the city. They make breakfast, clean rooms, build houses, or even take care of babies and families. Without them, the city won't operate as efficiently. The truth is, is that it's people's choice either way. The lives of Bei Piao are already difficult enough for them to worry about what the experts pontificate on about. They can't even afford enough time to follow this debate.